Hello. This is uh, just a quick overview of um, the MX VXM matrix mixer. It's a five input channel, five output channel matrix mixer, which means that you can take five different input channels, uh, mix together different proportions of those, and those will be available on the output channels. Each of the output channels of this mixer has um, a scaled or a 10 inverted output and um, an inverted output that are available at the same time. So what that means is that you can uh, mix together um, five different signals and use these sort of as volume knobs um, or if we switch over to the um, a 10 inverted that we can uh, change between um, the polarity of the signal so invert the signal and in the middle will be the uh, output. You can hear that that's um, increasing as we um, uh, as we move the knob clockwise. Um, same as if we go to the um, attenuated output, that one doesn't change. We can use that those two outputs together. Um, so if we plug in, so we've got the now attenuated. Uh, we're going to have the um, the scaled output um, is going to be on the right and the inverted one on the left. If we switch to the attenuated, inverted, um, we can hear, so this is going to be fully open on the right channel. So you can create some sort of interesting sweeps there. Um, if you're mixing this down to mono, though, these may sort of cancel each other out. So um, you know, it's not a not a true stereo. It's a sort of pseudo stereo, stereo effect that you can get with it. Uh, now, the um, wonders of a matrix mixer is that you're able to um, use the outputs um, simultaneously as well. So one of the uh, use, uses for a matrix mixer is sort of as a send and return. Um, so here we've got um, our uh, second channel is now going to uh, a delay over here. So if we bring that up and then we can control the amount of the signal that's sent to the delay and then control the amount of the delay that we're getting back in as well. So we can also control the feedback um, from here as well. So this is now mixing in the delay's um, output back into its input as well. Uh, now I've got um, sports modulator. Uh, Sorry, I've got some additional outputs from Swartz Modulator um, prepped here, so I'm going to plug those in too. And um, we can also use this um, to, uh, that should be going to here. We can use this uh, to send, um, say, modul a modulation signal um, back to the Swartz Mod 2. So we're already creating quite a bit of complexity and we're only using um, four of the inputs and um, three of the outputs. Um, you can uh, use the additional outputs to feedback as well.
So you can hear uh, pretty much, or very quickly, you're able to create quite um, complex um, patches um, using sort of not, not very <laughs> many modules. Um, but also this um, can be really useful in um, quite a larger system as well. Um, so the way that these are designed is that you're able to um, chain um, multiple of these together as well. So if you want more um, output channels, um, you can chain two of these together and um, each of the inputs would then be available on um, the 10 channels. Um, and you can use these as breaking jacks. So if you um, plug a jack into the second one, um, you would then have um, that sig first signal available on five channels and the next available on five and then the other um, ones available there. Because this is um, DC coupled, um, it means that you're able to use it for modulation signals as well. Um, so if you have been um, using it with audio, but um, you're able to say send a sequence um, through it and have um, different copies of the sequence going to um, different things. So um, copy to the oscillator, copy to um, say a filter, but you could also say you have two sequences and invert um, one of those um, to, to the sequence or um, filter um, as well. So um, a lot of um, really interesting options with it. Um, for me, um, uh, I like feedback, so I'm using this um, a lot with feedback, but I've also found it to be um, really useful um, with, say, uh, joysticks or something like that, where you're able to um, blend um, the different axes um, together or invert them and send that um, throughout a case. So to create really, um, uh, I like to create things that move together. So really cohesive movement, um, but really different movement um, uh, depending on um, how things are mixed together. Uh, so yeah, so a quick overview of it, probably missed some things out, but um, there you go.